So as far as like a, a background, again, there's all kinds of apps for backgrounds. Um, Zedge is one of them, Z-E-D-G-E. -E. And the way you would go to get Zedge, which is kind of cool because uh, you'd go to Play Store. Oh, see, I just downloaded it, so. But then you would, let's go to the front here. You just go to Search, and then R-I-N-G-T-O-N-E-S. Just type in ringtones. Press enter. And then there's, oh, I didn't, I typed in ring, oops, I miss, misspelled it. So ringtones, and then it comes up with um, a lot of these stupid things, sound effects, ringtones, and, but that's why Zedge is good. You just type in Zedge, Z-E-D-G-E. It comes up immediately right on top there. Click on it. And then um, just install. And then it will automatically put a, um, an icon on the desktop. Since I barely use it, I'll hold down on the icon and then remove it. There's a way it'll look different on your screen probably, but and then I just go to my apps if I ever need it. And there it is. And then you can search on here. Or whatever background or you can just hit on hit wallpapers and then there's you can just kind of scroll around there's all popular anyway but um sticking with the theme of you going on lot on the computer to do it uh, since the phone is still connected you just go to start computer and then on this window, you'll see uh, the phone. So you just double click on that, and then you're back to like internal storage. Open that up, and you have all these things here. So, so if you have, let's see, just well, since this is up, I'm just going to click on images on Google, like Hue Huey Helicopter. Um, Android wallpaper. Click enter, and then it, it should ha it should they should come up with the right size. Internet connection is not slow here, but where my computer is placed doesn't reach here very well. So, like um. Let's do this one. And when you type in Huey or whatever, Android wallpaper, it comes up with like large images, usually the right size. So I'm going to click on it and then view image. And there's like the raw image. Right click, save as, desktop save and then back to this you would go to i'm probably this is probably going to be mislabeled too well it, it is you press pictures there's nothing in there so if you go back dcim it's the same with on a digital camera now it comes up with more folders um this is an editing program you just find the one that has all the pictures and this has all my pictures. It takes a minute to open them because it has to transfer it from the phone up to the computer. So now it's loading them all up. So now we're just taking 
the picture I just downloaded and saved and I'm just gonna drag it into the pictures and then on the phone you would just go to your gallery find where all the pictures are and there it is click on it and usually this button here it brings up set image as there's a few different ways to do it but this is straightforward set image as home screen wallpaper oh yeah. set image as wallpaper And then it gives you the option of like resizing it usually. Sometimes it'll have you pick a program to do it, but then press save. And now it's done. Oops. So that's pretty straightforward.